Today we're testing out Google's new AI image generation model called Nano Banana. Is it any good? What are strengths? What are the weaknesses? And is it the game changer that everyone is talking about? All right, welcome back to the channel. Nano Banana, also known as Gemini 2.5 Flash, is a new image generation model from Google that has the internet going crazy right now and for good reason. We're gonna test out what the model is capable of in terms of product photography. We're gonna use a couple of examples and just talk to the model and try to describe what we want and see what we can create. Now to use Nano Banana, it's completely free and you only have to go to gemini.google.com and make sure that here up on the left side corner it says Gemini 2.5 Flash. For the example for this video, I have simply grabbed some old photos that I had on my computer and removed the background so we have just the product to work with. To really test out the model, I wanted products with different difficulty of labels. So some of the products have more graphical elements on the label and others like the prime bottle have just a simple text. So we're really gonna see if Nano Banana is actually capable of reproducing the labels one to one. Starting out with this hot sauce product from CP Vacot, I just simply wanted to create a flat lay of the hot sauce bottle laying amongst chicken wings. So I gave the model the image of the product and a reference image for the background along with this prompt and this is the result it came up with. For a first try, I think this is really impressive. Uh, it hasn't messed up the label at all, and it has placed the bottle amongst the chicken wings like I asked. The lighting could maybe be a bit more interesting or dynamic, but I would give this probably like a 7 or 8 out of 10. It's still pretty impressive. Next, we're gonna try something a bit more difficult. So this time, I want the bottle to be placed in orange hot sauce, half submerged, in the hot sauce, like in this reference image, where the tube is floating in the water, but instead of the water, I want it to be floating in orange hot sauce. So I gave Nano Banana these two images and this prompt, and this is the result it came up with. And I have to say, the first time I saw this image, my jaw almost dropped. The label is again perfectly intact, and the bottle is half floating in the orange hot sauce with chicken wings around it. And this would be absolutely impossible to do in Photoshop or anywhere else, only using this image as a reference. I mean, it even added like sauce on the bottle cap of the bottle, so it really looks like the bottle has been inside the liquid. Insane. Next, we're gonna kick it up a notch because online I've seen that you can ask Nano Banana to take an image and give you another perspective of that image. So I asked it to create an image where it looks at this scene from the surface level and a hand is holding the bottle out of the hot sauce. And this is the result it came up with. I mean, I don't know what to say at this point. Uh, this, I think, is the best single image I've ever generated with AI. Considering it's keeping the label almost 100% intact, the studio lighting is perfect, the sauce dripping down the bottle looks high quality, mind blown. And the best part about this tool is that if you don't like something in the image, you can simply ask it to change it, because it's also a really good image editor. So for example, in this image, I didn't quite like the splash at the bottom of the hand, so I simply asked it to remove it, and this is the final result. Moving on to the next example, I have a pink bag of coffee beans I would like to place in this environment. Again, I gave Nano Banana the two images and I gave it also this prompt to work with and this is the result it came up with. Now, this result is all right, but I think the lighting is a bit too flat. So I wanted to try to ask it to change the lighting to something more dramatic. And this is the result it gave me. The fact that you can change the lighting in this way by simply talking to the model, that is so powerful for people that don't have the editing skills of editing images. So this is a real game changer in my opinion. For the next example with the prime bottle, I really wanted to push the model to the limit to see 
how many times I can ask it to change something or add something to the image and if that's gonna break the model or the image in some way. So I started out with these two images and this prompt and it gave me this result to start out with, which is already quite good, but I really wanted to see how much we can push the model to change this image to something else. So I started out again with asking it for a more dramatic lighting that would highlight the bottle. And this is the result it came up with for that. Now here I wanted to see if it could adjust the lighting back to something more soft. So I said that the highlight is too harsh and make the background darker. And this is the result it gave me. After that, I wanted to add some blue raspberries into the image. So I asked it to place the blue raspberries on the glass surface. And here is the result for that. And then finally, I wanted it to place some blue raspberries inside the eyes with the prime can. And this is the final result. So as you can see, we went from this image to this image simply by talking to the model and changing the elements of the image itself. Now this is simply an example. I wouldn't maybe be completely satisfied with the results here. Some of the details of the image is a bit distorted and the harsh highlight on the can is maybe not optimal but this is just an example that you can just talk to the image and make changes on the go. For the next example, I wanted to see if it can match perspective and camera angles of examples I give it. So I wanted to have an image of this YoPro bottle in the style of this reference image where the camera is kind of looking up at the product in a tilted angle. Then I also wanted to change the background elements to fit the product. So I asked it to place it a amongst blueberries and blueberry bushes. And this is the result it came up with. Now this one again had my jaw dropping because it's almost 100% perfect. I mean, you could argue that yeah, the blueberry text on the top is maybe a bit warped, but comparing these results to other image generation models, this is absolutely next level stuff. For the next example, I wanted to see how well the model is able to place a product in an environment or an already existing image. So I asked it to keep the exact same style and composition as this image, but place the crisp beer can in the image instead and change the background to a dark blue matching the beer can. And this is the result it came up with. So to summarize my initial reaction, I'm very, very impressed by this new image model. This kind of wipes the floor with all the current image models that are out there. If we're just comparing one image from Nano Banana to ChatGPT, then you can see that this is the result we got in Nano Banana, and this is the result ChatGPT gave us. So as you can see, it's completely night and day. ChatGPT doesn't even get the label right on the image and Nano Banana is almost perfect. But that's it for my initial reactions video. I'll be doing more videos about Nano Banana for sure. So if you like this style of content, please consider subscribing. I also got a notification from YouTube that there's a new hype button that you can press to help out the video and the channel. So if you see that, please click that. Uh, but otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.